Buckeye rationalist from Lima, Ohio, said, you've experienced, or you've expressed rather, how you believe the Big 12 is America's conference. Yes, even though I'm a loyal Big 10 West fan, I agree with you. However, it makes me disappointed to know most weekends, many of the Big 12's marquee games will be overlooked on fall Saturdays, as most of us will be glued to Big 10 or SEC matchups. So I was wondering if you think the Fox Friday night slot should be used exclusively for Big 12 games. I don't think that. Because I don't think the Big 12 has to relegate itself to that. I am, I am kind of indifferent on this whole Friday night thing in general. So, so for those of you who have missed this, Fox announced that they're going to have a package of games on Friday nights. And you're, you may be thinking to yourself, big deal, w weren't there already games on Friday nights? Yeah, but not on a, a premier network airing a contiguous package. So what Fox is doing is they're saying, much like Big Noon Kickoff is their premier game, they're going to have a premier Friday night game. And what, what's it going to be, Jesse? It's going to be like the Big 12 or the Big 10. I think those are the two conferences mainly that it will feature. But it's going to be like a big-time game. For example, Arizona plays Kansas State, I think, early in the year on a Friday night. And when we went to Manhattan a few weeks ago, man, that's what they were talking about. They were saying, we, we just found out we're getting that Friday night game against Arizona. That's going to be really huge. So what, what the question was here is, do you think the Big 12, in an effort not to get overshadowed on Saturdays, should just exclusively put their big game on that Friday night? I don't think so because I don't. I almost think that white flags your status as a conference, and I don't think the Big 12 needs to white flag anything. You need to feel out the new environment, and maybe you're right. Maybe it ends up being an SEC Big Ten world from a viewership perspective, and maybe everything else does get lost on Saturday. I can tell you I'll find you. I promise you I'll find Big 12 football. If most of America doesn't follow me, then that's a moot point, but I, I think people may underestimate college football fans a little bit, and also I think this question, respectfully, may be underestimating the new approach the Big 12 is taking. The Big 12, in other words, with Brett Yormark at the helm now as the commissioner, is not taking the wait-and-see approach. Like They're not sitting back looking to the left and right meekly in the back of the room saying, oh, let's, let's wait for the big boys to make their moves and we'll just we'll find room. No, they're, they're being very aggressive. Guys, that's why they still exist and why the Pac-12 doesn't. They're being aggressive about it. So I think marketing-wise, they'll be aggressive. And like I told you 20 minutes ago, it's not up to you or me to worry about the marketing strategy of the Big 12, but if it ultimately means they get their product in front of you and enough of college football fans, they don't need to be moving off Saturday. They don't need to be doing that at all. And you know what? They don't have to match Ohio State versus Penn State eyeball for eyeball. They, they just don't. No one expects that to happen. But I'm telling you right now, I mentioned Arizona versus Kansas State. Whether that game's on a Friday night or a Saturday at 3.30, when that thing's tight in the second half, enough people are going to be talking about that thing on public platforms to where if you didn't start your day watching it, you will finish your day watching it. I believe that. I do not believe that the Big 12 has to take any kind of drastic step like the MAC has to fundamentally shift their strategy off Saturday. The MAC had to do that. Like the, the, the MAC was never going to find solid, sustainable traction on Saturdays. That's a case where they had to get creative and inventive. And they did. And it's been masterful because Maction is probably in Webster's Dictionary by now. It's so, it's so woven into college football society. I don't think the Big 12 needs to do that with Friday. Maybe someone else does. I don't think they need to do that with Friday. So that's America's college football conference this year as far as I'm concerned. It'll be the most competitively balanced. It's the conference where NIL salaries dwarf other salaries the least. It's the conference where the least shady recruiting happens. It's the conference where coaches stay put per capita more so than any other conference. So if we claim that that's what we want, if we claim the lack of those things is what's muddying up the college football waters right now, well, if the Big 12 is looking at you saying, hey, come over here, we got a good product that's absent a lot of that, I'm going. Y'all can come with me or not, I'm going. So I love the Big 12.